Yo, what's going on Rush Dentics? How are you doing? Today, it's gonna be a pretty simple, but straightforward video. So, I will be showing you today how these neon paintings are created and how we can get this neon effect. I mean, I'm sure some of you are already familiar, but for those who are not, oh, where did I put that one? Oh, it's right here. I have another one down here is my, my mat. So yeah, I'll be showing you how you can um, get this glow-in-the-dark feature with your paints and what you're going to need to do it. So stick around. I'll put it in steps. I don't know what I'll do yet. I'll just show you how it gets down. It gets down and dirty. Let's do it. Okay, first thing you're going to need would be a black light. Okay, if you're going to want black light, Style paintings, you're gonna need a black light or some sort of uh, LED light. My LED strips work well, so like, um, here, let me run up and show you this, which you can do as well. Oh, 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 oh. So you can do LED strips as well, and these work pretty good too. So I'll show you, like, if I can turn off that. the color as well like you can substitute the, I guess what I'm saying is you can substitute the black light there for um, blue LED and you can get somewhat of the same effect but if you want strong really strong vibrant colors definitely get you a, a black light find you a good one on Amazon and yeah you'll be set up so first thing you need black light so, and then the second thing you're gonna need is a canvas or some sort of medium to paint on. Uh, you can do bags, I do backpacks, uh, shirts, whatever you wanna do. Whatever you wanna paint, anything's paintable. I mean, come on now, look at my lampshade. Anything is paintable. Hold on, let me show y'all. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, turn off. Turn off. Yeah, there we go. So like I'm saying, anything is painful. So find your medium. That's what you gotta do after you acquire a black light. What are you going to paint? You get that figured out, we're ready to move on. So after you have your black light in your canvas, what you should work on acquiring is some um, black light interactive paint. And so what I use personally is I just go to Hobby Lobby and I'll get this stuff right here. This is a fluorescent sort of paint. <clears throat> so if you see fluorescent, that's a pretty good cue that that stuff's gonna be glowing beautifully under a black light. And also this is a pore acrylic and this is an iridescent paint, I believe. But this one also interacts under the um, black light so see what works for you out there do some research but this is what works for me if you just want some simple stuff fluorescent and if you see something crazy boom something like that and yeah they have you can even look on amazon like black light paint but yeah boom hobby lobby's got these that's where i get that shout out to hobby lobby free advertising but yep so you get your paint, and now, next step is just to create. So let's get down and dirty in it. Oh, hold on, I about forgot another important step is you're gonna want something to sometimes put your paint in, or uh, just something, uh, I use scrapers mostly, or some pouring, and uh, a brush. Get you a brush going, and you're gonna be really set to go. Now we're ready to create. You get your stuff you're gonna use, you get your medium, you get your tools, paint, black light. It's a good life. Let's go.
Okay, so we've got our neon base here. So what I like to do next is add on a color that's actually not uh, blacklight interactive. I mean, this is just personal reference at this one, so I'm gonna do with this one. So I'm gonna add on, uh, I don't know, maybe this white. I might just add some white right here. I'm gonna add a pour of this white. And also, if you saw uh, it get really weird textures because I added water to try to, I don't know what I was trying to do, but I don't, I didn't like it. I don't think the canvas liked it either. But yeah, I'm gonna add some white drip right now. So check this out. So see, by adding that little um, non-neon color, it adds like a contrast kind of to the painting, which I enjoy a lot. And you can just play around with other colors because like, there's a lot that you can do that's a little different with everything. That's just the best part about creating. Everything you do, you find out something new you can do. So that's why I'm making this video just kind of motivate you, get you going. Just let you know you're capable of creating I don't know why you wouldn't think you aren't, but if you think you are not, you are. Um, so yeah, I need to plant an RA up on this and we're gonna call it a little bit of a day. Oh yeah, cause it's 1.27 AM and I'm losing my brain. Oh. Yeah, yeah, all right, all right. what are we gonna? What are we gonna do? Where my paint? My paint. Alright. You see, a guy like me is just gonna grab this. I'm gonna be weird. I'm gonna grab this yellow. I'm gonna grab this yellow. I'm gonna I'll just place it right here. I'm gonna place my trademark right here. How's that sound? What's going on in there? Oh, it's a clumper. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a thick bottom, I guess. Oh, oh, so much came out. That's a thick clumper. I gotta finish off the R to the A to the double A. Just kidding, no double A, just R to the A. R to the A. That is fire. That is fire. That's a problem, but it's fire. Oh, look at that, folks. Oh, brushed antics. Are we out here? Are we out here? We are. And so are y'all. So you tag me if you make a black light canvas that you get inspired to make from this video. And I want to see it. I want to see it. I really hope that all stays. I will. But wow, guys, that actually looks really cool. I just say that every time. I love it. Everything you create, it's awesome. Oh, guys, look, but like, look at that. Like, how that A's mixing right there? Are you kidding me? That looks crazy. And like right there, the metallic mixture. Nice. All right, all right, all right. I'm getting out of hand. But thank you guys for watching. I got a little message after this video. If you want to stay tuned, check it out. It's uh, from the word the bible so check it out and if not i love you guys peace to all of you cheers god bless you you are all amazing and are here for a purpose let's do it see you later hey guys so right on for watching the video and everything i just want to throw this in here it's just um the verse that has been sticking with me this past week 
It's right here in Revelation. It's um, Revelation chapter 2, 4. So it says, Yet I hold this against you. You have forsaken the love you had at first. Consider how far you have fallen. Repent and do the things you did at first. And if you do, if you do not repent, I will come to you and remove your lampstand from its place. So what this has just been making me think about, like when I first thought it, the way I perceived it in my personal life was um, like, I guess like this sort of um, comfort that I've found myself in, like um, thinking that this is all just every day it's gonna always be here and it's not it's not that's something we all got to get out of everything is temporary in our life and um when we lose like the side of the temporariness we can lose this uh, we get in this cycle of just drowning through our life and just not really enjoying the small things that christ has planted in our life so that's something i've been working on is just getting back to just thinking like a child dude because that's what christ wants us to do he wants us to think like children just pure and happy and just love this creation that he's given us and let him handle everything else we don't have to handle it jesus will handle anything that we put upon him he and if he wants us to handle something he will give us the strength all right guys thanks for watching rush antics